So in this video, what we're going to review is an RS-485 uh, roller screen system from Somfy. So what you're looking at right now is the power panel that um, drives the six motors in this system. So it's plugged into a surge strip, and that's a must because of uh, the DC voltage here. Uh, the slightest little surge will uh, fry the motors. And uh, what we did is we wrote down the motor addresses so that we know how to talk to the motors. And uh, if you'll notice, there's a red light on the board that's powered right off here. Uh, and that's going to power the RS-485 bus line. Um, and here's our uh, Cat5 cable running out of the box. This yellow uh, is connected to the computer, which is running. Uh, the configuration software. So we just got done um, configuring everything and uh, what we have here is we have uh, six blinds and uh, it's a riverfront condominium and uh, the customer wanted it controlled with a wall switch so we have a Decoflex wall switch right here and uh, then we also have a remote, a TELUS 5 remote and these two are wireless so they actually talk to these um, RTS receivers. So um, I have one RTS receiver that talks to the TELUS remote um, and one RTS receiver that talks to the DecoFlex switch. We're back and what I did is I uh, stuffed the two RTS receivers <clears throat> in the wall and put a blank plate on the wall. So this is the finished look now. So what we can do now is um, I have all down and we can operate these shades and they'll all go down. And uh, these are the Sinesse ST30 motors, uh, the RS-485. So they're uh, pretty quiet. The customer wanted the ability to control that far shade over there independently. So what I did is I had that as um, channel one so we can do channel one up and then just that one shade will respond and also we can have this river wall right here is a group so that that's a grouping of channel two so we can have channel two up so all these are moving up um, we'll stop them pull them back down um, then we also have the deck over here and um, they wanted independent control of the deck so um, I have the left shade here which is will be channel 3 um, that moves independent and then we have um, we'll stop that and then we also have uh, channel 4 which is the right side um, shade so we can operate these independent and everything now would go up as a group. So for instance, if we hit up all, um, you know, they all respond uh, to the remote and they're all moving in unison. Um, so what they are is they're 1% screen shades. Um, so you can uh, barely see through them, but uh, they, you know, they provide a degree of privacy that uh, uh, you, you could use it in a bedroom, but uh, for the most part, they use it for glare control. Is they get a tremendous amount of sunlight here uh, when the uh, sun's out. So what we're looking at right now is their view over the river. And uh, actually, that's the Gateway Clipper Fleet uh, and the Majestic and uh, the Good Ship Lollipop and the Queen. So uh, anyway, that is south side. So we're going to put these shades down and you'll see um, quite a bit of glare control. Um, you really can't see through these too well. If you wanted to see through them, you'd want to use a 5%. We'll go back now to the uh, power panel and uh, we'll, uh, we're done programming and uh, everything works good. Um, I'm going to undo the computer cable and uh, like I said, there's six home run uh, 16 four uh, wire 
uh, 16 gauge four conductor and you need the four conductor um, is if you take a look here you have uh, two for power and then two for the RS-45 control so we pull home runs back to this power panel and then if this was um, say a home automation system what the uh, automation control fellow could do is plug in right here on this RJ-45 connector and uh, he'd have access to the system um, here are the motor codes uh, a lot of these automation control systems have the uh, drivers built in them so um, you know he could re rearrange these motors in any grouping that he wanted and then uh, raise and lower them at will uh, so anyway um, that is the RS-485 system